Hello people, this is George with yet another Call of Dragons video. Today I want to speak about one of the most important features in the whole game and in general what is this game is all about. Uh, I want to speak about Alliance. First of all, uh, we need to discuss why it's good, what you should have been doing for a while, what you can change and in general uh, what kind of benefits you can get from Alliance. First of all, everybody likes to have a lot of rewards, a lot of stuff for free. And as a free-to-play player, you can see I don't have Gilea, I'm 100% free-to-play. Or in general, for a player who likes to progress through game, you need to have a lot of free rewards. And I think uh, besides quests and events, uh, Alliance is giving you much, much better rewards than anything else. Let me explain. First of all, uh, it's important to have a good alliance, which is like people who you like to play with, who you are chatting with, and if it's a strong alliance, it's really, really good. Uh, and I will explain why. First of all, whenever in your alliance people are killing forts or taking dark chests, and you, everybody can understand killing forts and taking dark chests is a day-to-day, -day, everyday aspect of this whole game, right? Which means whenever people in general are playing the game, you are receiving rewards. As you can see, I'm getting a small amount of resources, but every day it's stacking up and it will help you. Also, you can get speed ups and so on. But most important, whenever in your alliance people are spending money and purchasing bundles or anything, you are getting this chest. Sometimes chests are like silver, golden chest, uh, and you are receiving VIP tokens. As you can see in my alliance, not, of, not a lot of people are spending a lot of money. That's why everybody has a wooden uh, alliance chest. So the most common are VIPs, speed ups, tokens. These tokens are for this blessing chest. Whenever this chest is full, you are getting really, really good rewards. So, what, what, what everything this means? Whenever you are in alliance, and even you or people are playing the game in general, you are getting free rewards, which is amazing. And most importantly, you are getting gems. That's like five, but let's imagine you have like 50 people who are spending money in the game and you are getting a lot of gems, a lot of speed ups, a lot of, like, you can see 60 minutes speed up here, two actually, and so on. This is a good way to collect stuff in general. Secondly, you have a alliance store. Whenever you are doing, like, alliance activity, for example, helping, like, clicking help for a people from an alliance center, or you are, you are building, uh, you are getting alliance tokens. Well, so with these alliance tokens, you can purchase like resources, uh, gathering uh, like bonuses and speed ups. Mainly, what I suggest, what I'm doing, I'm always taking 15 minutes speed up because it's like universal speed up. Uh, that's the mainly what I'm taking. Second of all, uh, as you already understand, this game is war game, not a gathering game. And in general, in every server, there is a lot of wars. Uh, in wars, you are getting merits. Merits are here, like it can be shown here. And every single many merit you can exchange with a really, really good stuff. Like every day, this supply is restocked, and every week, this supply is restocked. As you can see, you can get legendary medals for a, like sometimes half a price, as you can see I, I got this legendary medal for a half a price, a lot of resources, a lot of speed ups, and also what it's called, let me check, um, it's called elixirs, right? You can collect elixirs uh, for an army, when, when your army is dead, you can use elixir and it can be survived, revived, like as you can see, uh, like this. So, you are getting free stuff here, you are getting free stuff here, right? You are just playing the game, and by playing the game, you are getting free rewards. After that, there is territory. When, when you are in alliance, you can check the map. These lines are for my alliance, alliance right? 
whenever your alliance is big enough, you are getting free resources from territory earnings. Like, it's not a ton, but every day you are stacking up the resources, right? So we have already three features in Alliance where you can get free rewards. And after that, the technology of Alliance is pretty good. I won't gonna go like in details what everything here is giving. You can check it by yourself, but everything is like additional buffs for your economy, for your uh, stats for your heroes, for your behemoths. So this is also a free stuff. Uh, which means, like, in general, Alliance is, is, like, for a free rewards, right? Also, you are getting helps, as you can see. Like, I have a 22-level Alliance Center, and my, my secret hall uh, time building got reduced for four days. So, like, that's amazing, right? Like, you are getting free resources, free gems, free speed-ups from here, and also, this is kind of speed-up too, right? Like, you, you, you get help from your alliances members they are getting benefits you are getting free speed ups so this is like why it's important to have a like active alliance to be in like every active activity with your alliance like it might be behemoth killing and like you are getting free stuff from here just be just because of participating and also free buffs uh, like uh, in general, alliance is a free stuff for especially for free to play players, and of course, like pay to win players can get anything from here too. So my main advice would be to gain as much power as you can, so you will be able to join a good alliance. And in my opinion, good alliance is like a way of success, a way of having fun in this game. Uh, right now, like even me. Uh, like I would not continue playing this game without having a good alliance because the main reason and main purpose of this war game is to have a good alliance and having wars, killing behemoths, and of course getting free stuff, right? So, like this is my main main advice for people who are watching me, like be careful with your alliance. Like it's not just people who you are who is is like just a group. You are guys who are progressing through game helping each other like helping killing forts and in general doing alliance activities and believe me if you will be more connected with your alliance members you will have a lot more fun uh, in whole game so that's like my main advice for you guys if you have another opinion or another view about this game or you want to say something more about this topic feel free to share uh, in the comment section uh, i'm reading every single comment and if you have, if you will if you will have a better advice in general, like I will take it. I'm open-minded person. So here we go. Bye bye. Hope you have a great day, morning or evening. Bye bye.